I've gotten more fit than I ever have in my whole life. It's the best. It's better than any gym. Before I could only run about a half mile, and now I'm running races. I feel good and feel better about my overall health. It's just been like waking up with a cup of coffee. It's just been it's like a lifestyle. Oh, it's great fun. Great way to get fit. You can start at your own level. There are a lot of people here who have never really exercised. Your best to push that burn as long as you can. Five more seconds to go. Our objective is to provide a phenomenal exercise, well-rounded program that everyone can afford. Exercise not only affects you physically, but mentally, emotionally. If they can get a great workout, lose weight, they'll get above themselves. And that's what we like. Welcome to the Talent Quest show, the stepping stone to the stars. This evening we have a wonderful lineup of contestants. And as far as I'm concerned, everyone's a winner. First of all, I just want to say we are very blessed and lucky to have the Mamadou Band here this evening who has agreed to perform with us and grace our stage with their great West African positive dance vibe music. So when it's all said and done at the end of the show, we're going to have a party and we're going to dance. Okay, next contestant is Matthew Robertson. Hey, Matthew. Hello. How are you? Good. I like your garb. Can you explain what you've got all this garb on? And we get a little closer to the mic, yeah. Um, I'm doing a Huck Finn monologue, if nobody could guess, but I'm sure everyone could. How do I look? Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're doing Huck Finn, and so tell us about our, your dreams and aspirations. Well, I hope someday to be on Broadway um, and to do movies and commercials, and I hope to do that before I turn 50. <laughs> well, actually, you have quite a few uh, credits under your belt already. You've been in a number of films and mm -hmm. in a, num a number of productions, so I know that you're Broadway-bound for sure. Thank you. All right, well, all the best. Have a good time. Thank you. It was Tom's idea to start up a band of robbers. He made a swear an oath that if anybody that was part of the gang told his secrets... He must have his throat cut, and his carcass all burnt up, and his name blotted off the list with blood, and never mentioned by the gang again, but have a curse put on it, and be forgotten forever. Everybody said it was a real beautiful oath, and asked Tom if he got it out of his own head. He said some of it, but mostly out of robber books and pirate books, and that every high tone gang had it. We played robber for about a month, but then I resigned. All the boys did. We hadn't robbed nobody. Hadn't killed no people either. Only just pretended. Then one time, Tom sent a boy about town with a blazing stick, which he called the slogan, which was a sign for the gang to get together. And he told us that he got secret news from his spies that a parcel of Spanish merchants and rich Arabs were coming to camp at Cave Hollow. Plus, they were bringing 200 elephants, 600 camels, over a thousand sumter mules, all loaded down with diamonds, and not only had a guard of 400 soldiers. But I didn't believe we could lick such a crowd of Spaniards or Arabs, but I wanted to see the camels and elephants, so I was on hand next day, Saturday in the ambuscade. When we got the word, we rushed out of the woods and down the hill, but there were no Spaniards or Arabs or camels or elephants at that. Just a Sunday school picnic, and a primary class at that. We busted it up and chased the kids up the hill. Though all we found were donuts and jam. Though Ben Rogers did get a rag doll, and Joe Harper did get a hymn book and tract. Then the teacher came in, made us drop everything we could. 
Now, I couldn't see the diamonds, and I told Tom Sawyer so. He said, there were diamonds. So I said, why couldn't we see them then? He said if I wasn't so ignorant. Plus, if I, if I read a book called Don Quixote, I would know without asking. Anyway, he said it was all done by enchantment. He said there were diamonds, and elephants, and soldiers, and all that stuff, but we had enemies, which were called magicians, and they turned it into a Sunday school picnic just out of spot. So I said, all right, so the thing for us to do is to go after the magicians. But, of course, Tom Sawyer said I was a numbskull. I reckon he believed in the elephants and Arabs, and diamonds and camels and all that stuff, but as for me, I think different. Thank you. Matthew, I understand that you do a radio show. Can you explain a little bit about your radio show, what character you play, and when you do that? Um, well, I recently have been accepted to do a radio show called The Adventures of Tom Swift by Victor Appleton on XM Radio, Channel 163, Sonic Theater. And it's about this boy, and his dad's like a genius, and he's creating like a, tur a t uh, turbo motor. And his son wants to be in his father's shoes someday, and somebody tries to steal his father's work. And so Tom tries to save his dad's work by trying to stop these men who are, have stealing his work. Have, um, have stealing his work. Stolen. Stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Talent Quest show. Come and watch us again next month. The uh, dates and the auditions should be flashing in the credits at the end. At the end. And I want all of our contestants to kiss the audience goodbye. So everybody go like this. And <laughs> good night.